this set point screen for chlorine injection, what this system does in auto, see, not, it won't run in auto at all now. It will run day six of the month, day 15th of the month, and day 27th of the month. It's going to, so it's going to fire three times per month. And all it's going to do is just bring my uh, chlorine set point up to one. As soon as it achieves one, it's going to shut off. Okay? So, and I set it up for hour eight, so it's going to be eight o'clock in the morning. So I figure I'd catch somebody, you know, doing rounds or something, and they'll be able to hear it. Now, this can be changed, and I can set it off any, any time of the day or any day. If, if, if we go through this and we find out that chlorine is holding in the system and where it's safe, then I can match these days. I can put day six in the middle, hour eight, day six down here instead of 27. So we'll only go off once a month. But this is something we gotta figure out. Right. So it is gonna be processed for both of us. And like I said, if someone needs training to get on it, this is what it's gonna be. And so you'll, right- You'll know how long it runs. Yes, right. yeah, on the front of the screen has elapsed time. Okay. We've got temperature, of course, a, uh, conduct to well, TDS of the water that's in there now. So I've got my, uh, there's a delay for this also, because this needs water to run. And what's gonna happen is this, this will be off for like five minutes before when this thing fires up, then it takes a reading then once it gets a reading, then it will set off our chemical uh, feed pump. In here, this is, like I said, all automatic, it's all set up. 15% uh, bleach, very strong, all right? Uh, 15 gallons in there, the pump does all the work. You shouldn't have to open it at all. So the door stays closed, your MSDS here on the front, and it's here. Uh, next cycle, I've got my set points for uh, low pump discharge pressure uh, the, and that's for e either pump pump one or two and there's a delay for the low pressure just because what's happening with the system is there's a pit next door and it physically sucks the water out of the bottom of the pit then puts it back in so that's why we put out a delay for low pressure so if this thing over you know the day's sitting and it needs to be reprimed uh, we've got a valve on the bottom, but we've got it pretty much that it's holding, and that's why the delay's there, just for the pump to catch up, then send water back to the tank. Uh, there's also a flow, flow delay also, flow alarm, so this way here, like I said, as the pump catches up, pressure catches up, it delays out. Um, back on the main screen here, we've got our alarm history, and of course you heard the alarm go off when I had the pump off and had a chlorine pump running without water. Uh, for this, just, just leave them, but I'm gonna clear them all just so they're, they're off. Alarm history, you can bring it back up, just same with upstairs. Uh, set point screens, you won't be able to get in it without a password. Uh, after uh, warranty, then I'll give you the password. So no going in it. Uh, elapsed time will give you the time that the pump's been, chlorine pump been running, distribution pump's been running. That's, that's how you'll know at the end of the month. Right. If, you know, in Which, three days, if it, if it ran. Uh, and at any time, exactly. Right. Pump control, what we do is we have alternate. So this way here, we're cycling both pumps, <coughs> and that's going to be different uh, at different cycles. So. One, one time per month, uh, two, number one pump will run twice, and number two pump will run once, because we're only cycling it three times, so it's just going to do that alternating. Uh, back to the main screen, uh, pump discharge pressure, flow discharge pressure, uh, total discharge pressure. So this way here, excuse me, flow, discharge pressure flow. Uh, so what it's going to do, like I said, just recirculate that tank, pull a sample here, Make sure we have chlorine in it. Once we hit our set point, the thing's gonna shut down and wait for its next cycle from cycle two or three and go on from there. Uh, anything leaks, turn it off, call, normal procedure. So 
What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fire the system up right now. It's going to get a little noisy. Then I'll show you the pressures and flows and where everything is in the back. And right now, in auto, it will not run because it's on the cycle. So I'm going to put it in hand. So there's a pump in hand right now. You can hear the water moving around. What I've got right now, I've got uh, 30 PSI for discharge pressure. Uh, it's about 34 gallons a minute as uh, my flow rate. Then of course my totalizer on the bottom is here. Uh, chemical pump, I'm gonna turn in hand also. And the unit does get powered up. So this will get powered up only by the switch and it has to be lit. If this pump fails for any reason, then I get my alarm, which, which is chlorine pump running without my booster pump. So, and that clears automatically, all right? So I'm putting chemical in right now, recirculating from the pit to here and back to the pit. Uh, the pressure gauges, I've got a pressure gauge here. I'm gonna take that out and spin it. It's a little tight right now, but I'm gonna take it out and put it so you can be able to see it between the between right, the two motors. Climb in behind there to look at it. What's that? Isolation back there. I don't have one. But there, it's there. I've got my uh, chemical injection that's in the physically in the piping in the containment cabinet. So if something splits in there, you, we're not pumping bleach all over the place. So any anything that gets pumped that's physically inside that containment cabinet. Um, I've got another gauge here, inlet, outlet. I pick up my conductivity of the water with my cell. Uh, my pressure for my uh, screen is off this pressure switch here. And we've got the two pumps. Anything happens pump-wise, we can isolate each pump with the valves and discharge also. So this is pretty much all this, like I said, the system's going to do is just recirculate. And like I said, something that fails on it, something breaks, just turn it off and call There's no filter of any kind. There is nothing. We just have the city, the city water was filled into that tank. And that was clean to begin with, so there's no need to filter anything. That's correct. So all we're, all we're doing is we're maintaining one ppm of chlorine. It's, it's just like a swimming pool, just to keep it clean and nothing grows in it. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll take a walk over there and we'll show you the, the pit with the water moving and how to access it, all right? Now, the conductivity cell will pick up the temperature of the water and, uh, well, it's 69 degrees, Matt, just so you know. So uh, it will pick up the temperature of the water and the conductivity of the water. So this way here, as you can see, uh, in normal operation, if you walk in this room, I know you won't be able to hear it because there'll probably be everything else running. So, so this pit, will only be moving water three times a day according to the uh, setup on the main panel. So there, you know, like I said, the water's moving. Uh, the pit, we figured it was about six feet deep. I don't know if that's just a reflection. Where's your flashlight? Yeah, just a reflection. Okay. There did, is a little debris on there, but like I said, we'll, we'll get it all sanitized. It'd be clean debris. You should have vacuumed before so, the building. So like I said, this, that's it. You're going to hear for noise. It's not going to move any fast or anything like that. So, but I'm sure when this room gets up and running with a compressor and everything else, you won't be able to you hear that, right. especially with the cover closed. Right. So. But you can tell just by the movement of the water that it's. That, it, that it's moving, yeah. absolutely. And this has also, uh, I believe what John Greenwood told me, it has a city water makeup. So if they, as they blow down the fire, anything like that, this here, it's got a yeah. float in it yes. that, will, yeah. that will fill up. Uh, I can see it's all wired. Uh, it, it will f fill the pit back up. Right. So. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, any other questions in the other room? Because it, it's, like I said, it's, it's 
just on, on and off and just got to either check it off. Will you, if that pump now is uh, not, it won't run if it's not primed? Yeah, it, 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 it will run for 180 seconds. And then it will, then, then it will then quit. The then we'll get the alarm. Okay. So this way here, you know, like I so said, we, if we lose our prime, but the thing is, is with the pump, it, it will catch and move water, but that's why we give it the long delay, just so it will catch up to itself. But if it, it, after 180 hours, uh, excuse me, 180 seconds, if that pump says I can't meet my pressure or flow rate, it's gonna alarm okay. and everything shuts down. And I believe that is on the building maintenance system. Uh, I'll open up that panel and check. I'm sure, I think Frank was in there All for right. me and Annie and took care of it already. So, okay. that, that's, we're running at 33 gallons a minute. The pumps are running. Right. Uh, 30 PSI uh, total flow that we took out of the tank and put back in, recirculated, right. it's right there. So. Good, so you've recirculated basically that whole tank twice already. Uh, I hope so. So this is how you're going to see everything just as it is in auto. Pump will be off and like I said, 8 o'clock, day 6, day 15, day 27 of the month, this thing will be running. Once it meets its uh, set point, it will turn off. Now, in between the days, does it, will it have to run? There's no. nothing. Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> so they'll know if they come over and they, they make them do a reading on this. They can. You'll, you'll, they'll get a conductivity reading. Uh, off it. Right. If, if they, if they want to come in and do a reading, they will have to take the hand, everything, this is, this is what you're going to see right now for everything in auto and whatever time they pull a reading. If they come over here to take a reading, they'll either take pump one or pump two, turn it to off, then turn it to hand. And then they can get a reading. Okay. This has the delay on it. So they won't be able to get a chlorine reading here unless they wait for, you know, like 10 minutes. Okay. But I know the guys it's have like a lot the pH, to do. the the same thing. They, right. they got to wait for that reading. Right. Yeah. So, and the biggest thing is, you know, once they get your reading, pressures, flows off, then back to auto. That's key. Nice. Yeah. I can see them turning it off and not onto auto. Yeah. Nice. So just leave it the way the way it is. This this is it, and like I said, and you know, I, I can come in any time of the day, and you know, go to my uh, set point screens, yeah, and change this. So if I if I show up at ten o'clock, come down here at ten thirty, I can change it to that day, and put it to hour eleven. Wait till eleven o'clock comes, right. and this thing will fire all in auto on its own. We'll, we'll never really have to need to uh, the need to get in there and change. We wouldn't be changing it. No, that's, no. There's nothing. There's, there's nothing you'll change in here. Right. It's all preset. And like I said, there's a, a password to get right. in there. So we'll, we'll leave it at that.